Hey, what's up? My name's Ruby and let's have a look at what's making news today. There's a lot of talk about TikTok happening right now. An investigation over in the UK has found that the people in charge of the app aren't doing enough to protect the millions of young people who use it. Ma. Um, what's it called? Ma. What? Uh, Tell us something, Matty. TikTok is hugely popular. People can post short videos, lip syncing, dancing or completing challenges. But a new investigation has found hundreds of inappropriate comments have been posted on the videos of some of the app's younger users. The company deleted some of the comments when they were reported, but a lot of the users posting the comments weren't banned, and most were able to keep their accounts. Child safety is becoming a big problem for the popular app. Earlier this year, they were hit with a massive fine for illegally collecting personal info on kids who were too young to be using the platform. And now, a court ruling in India is asking the government to ban the app because of concerns about child protection. TikTok says they are committed to improving the way they moderate comments. So what are some of the tips to help stay safe? Experts recommend reporting comments or messages that seem a bit dodgy or inappropriate. Change your settings so only approved friends can comment on your vids or message you. Make sure your profile is private and don't share any personal details. Animal rights activists caused some serious chaos in Melbourne this morning. They blocked off city streets as part of a nationwide protest calling on people to go vegan. Some sat on tram tracks and others chained themselves to vans and blocked an intersection. As you can imagine, that caused big traffic jams during peak hour. Australia was declared measles-free back in 2009, but it's been popping up again. The most recent cases are two tourists who came back from a trip to the Philippines and triggered a measles alert in Queensland and New South Wales. Measles is super rare in Australia, but it's still common in a lot of other countries where lots of people aren't vaccinated, and they can bring it here. Everyone always says it's the most important meal of the day. But a lot of kids still go to school without breakfast. For 12-year-old Will, that didn't sit right, and he decided to do something about it. Here at Narra Court Primary in South Australia, Thursday mornings are pretty awesome. That's the one day a week that all the kids here get a free feed. Will started this breakfast club when he noticed that some of his classmates were coming to school without eating brekkie. You can really tell because, like, you know, they're not as uh, bright and friendly in the morning. His friends wanted to help out, and now a group of Year 7s are in charge of serving toast, cereal and other snacks. I thought it was good to do something for our school community. The food's provided by the charity Food Bank. We know that one in four uh, children in South Australia go hungry, um, which is a very sad reality. Will's really happy with how the breakfast club's going and is planning on training up some younger kids to carry it on next year. Nice one, Will. Now it's time for a segment of Creatures Who Are Looking Good. This doggo is turning his post-surgery recovery into style. Gus has to wear this cone to stop him biting his stitches and his humans decided to use the opportunity to get creative. Space doggo. Scuba doggo. Food doggo. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. This 10-month-old Springer Spaniel drum is looking good and very good at looking. He's helping protect one of the most critically endangered species in the world, the northern white rhino. There are only two of them left. Yeah, two. Drum's been trained to sniff out guns that poachers might have hidden in their cars as they travel into the conservation park where these rhinos live. And over in the UK, it's spring, which means a lot of new baby lambs. Unfortunately for farmer Hannah, the weather doesn't seem to have caught up. When you finally think that you're going to be over the worst of the weather, it's time and time, it'll be OK, and you wake up to this. The heavy snow had her worried about one of the farm's newest residents. I'm off to try and find my lamb that was born yesterday. And luckily she did, and got it into the barn where it could stay warm and look good in this cute little jacket. Also, Hannah has a yak. Not strictly relevant, but like, how cool is that? That's the show for today, guys. Do you have any tips on how you stay safe on TikTok? If you do, let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.